Frame Beach Amusement Park. It was a lifelong dream and joy of Harry Batt Sr. who founded the park back in the spring of 1928. In those days, it was the hit of the Gulf Coast. It's many exciting rides, dance reviews, magic performances, and beauty contests, just to name a few, are what the hearts of New Orleans will remember for a long time to come. During the Great Depression, the beach brought a little cheer to many of those who had little else to cheer about. In 1931, the then unknown Dorothy L'Amour was crowned Miss New Orleans in one of the many beauty contests which was to become a tradition at Pontchartrain Beach. During the war years, the huge parking lot surrounding the amusement park served as a drill field for the neighboring naval station, now better known as UNO. For years, its rides rivaled those of any amusement park in the country. Time has caught up with the grand old park, however. Popular opinion has deemed this piece of history obsolete. In this modern age of computer games and TV, there seems to be just too many other things to do. So on Saturday, September 24, 1983, Pontchartrain Beach closed its gates for the last time. They turned out by the thousands that day. It was almost as if time stood still. The names and the faces had changed, but this was the same crowd which had always been there at the beach. The same crowd which screamed every time the Zephyr made one of its giant dips. The same crowd which gathered around the beach stage to enjoy the entertainment of the musical dance review. The aerial shows were there, and so were the children. And so were the adults who, for the day, could act like children. Recollections of years gone by were rekindled, and young and old alike took the opportunity to experience the park for one last time. Jackhammer sounds now replace those which were once made by happy crowds here at Pontchartrain Beach. As you can see, demolition has already begun. While Pontchartrain Beach Amusement Park may be closing, its fond memory will remain. The rides are being torn down to make way for a condominium development. As part of their annual project, the Louisiana National Guard has been assigned to remove a number of rides and equipment which will reappear at the new Kenner theme park, Rivertown, USA. Among those rides will be part of the Zephyr, the Ferris wheel, and a few kiddie rides. Condominium developer Stephen Kaplow says he doesn't harbor any guilt feelings about tearing down the old amusement park. On the contrary, he says his new facility will prove to be just as attractive to the people of New Orleans. Well, I remember the Zephyr, and I remember the beach before the Raging Cajun with the Wild Mouse, and uh, I remember the good old days, and uh, there are going to be a lot of improvements for the public to enjoy at the new Pontchartrain Beach. There'll be beachfront restaurants, there'll be a beachfront club here for the whole city to belong to, and uh, I think there'll be even more people at the new Pontchartrain Beach than came to the old one. From the old beach, what will you be keeping? Uh, only the historic lighthouse, and that lighthouse will remain in its present location, but it'll be in the center of our new big swimming pool on an island. Uh, the pool will be almost two football fields long, and it'll be the finest and fanciest pool in the southern United States. It is now time to face the fact that a part of our history has, like so many other things, faded from view. But in the case of Pontchartrain Beach, out of sight doesn't necessarily mean out of mind, because in the minds of many, there will always remain a Pontchartrain Beach. For Louisiana Living, this is Paul Murphy reporting. A special thanks to the Historic New Orleans Collection and to David Richmond for assisting us with our nostalgic look at the early days of Pontchartrain Beach. Still to come on Louisiana